Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy, almost a movie critic, and you're watching Absolutely Cult. Today we're going to talk about something we're not allowed to talk about. It's even its first rule. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. So here it is, Fight Club by David Fincher, director of Seven, The Social Network, or more recently, Millennium, with the stunning Rooney Mara. But let's start with the story. Edward Norton plays an insurance expert lost in life. He suffers from insomnia and is desperately looking for a way out. His solution will come with Tyler Durden, a guy with principles on everything. It's all going down, man. I say stop being perfect. We are byproducts of a lifestyle obsession. We are consumers. Fuck off with your sofa units and string green stripe patterns. Their two personalities seem completely opposite, but one night they will combine and create this. Motherfucker! The Fight Club. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. This is your first night at Fight Club. You have to fight. Adapted from the novel by Chuck Palahniuk, I have trouble to pronounce it, the film was very controversial when it came out. On one side, you have people talk about a film showing off violence, even comparing it to Clockwork Orange. But on the other side, you had people talking about a visual masterpiece, complex yet provocative, with its main quality to shock the viewer. The movie will be offered to four directors, Danny Boyle, Peter Jackson, another guy that I forgot the name, and David Fincher, who actually wanted to buy the rights just after he read the film, the book, sorry. Yeah. I thought people would understand that it was meant to be satirical. For the actors, Tyler Durden's role was first meant to be given to the actor Russell Crowe. But who landed it? Brad Pitt. You want to finish her off? And you know how much he got for the part? 17.5 million dollars. Yep. How much you get paid per month? Yep. I want the money. That's what I want. For the narrator, the 20th century Fox was seeing more a Sean Penn or a Matt Damon. But at the end, David Fincher thought Edward Norton would fit the role. I'm sorry, this is just coming as quite a shock to me, sir. Fight Club is a male's movie with a with violence and blood and and sweat dripping down bodies, touching each other's. It's a good film. And have you noticed those subliminal images? Yes, there's four of them on the screen. Watch closely. Okay now, stop. For those of you who haven't seen the end of the film, I suggest that you cut this video right now, so just leave. Okay, or stay, whatever. But we're gonna ruin the film if you haven't seen it, so... Anyways, you know at the, the end of the film, the final twist, when you find out that it's the same person? Well, uh, doesn't this remind you another film? What is it? Strange, no? It came out the same year, just before. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching Absolutely Cult. Remember not to trust everything that I'm saying. Most of it is from Wikipedia. And until next time, remember that. Marla, look at me. I'm really okay. Trust me. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs>